Next, the magician will attempt something you've seen many times on TV, vanishing a large object into thin air. If you guessed the 65,000 pound dump truck, you're right. Of course, any big object will do, like an airplane or a tank. But I think this truck will do the trick. Those girls keep popping up right when he needs them. Lucky guy. Watch that first step, masked man. The floor is solid concrete. No trap door down there. Just in case you're wondering, this truck is the real deal. It's 35 feet long and 13 feet high. I guess he wants us to get a good look at the truck. If the trick works, it won't be around for long. And just to make sure that it doesn't vanish too soon, the magician has something else up his sleeve. The truck is enclosed in this 37 by 20 foot steel cage. The cage itself weighs a ton, two tons to be exact. The doors of the cage are closed tight, then chained to the front of the truck with a bulletproof padlock. He couldn't break it open if he tried. The magician checks out the steel enclosure to make sure there are no secret panels. It's solid, all right, and it surrounds the truck on all sides. Trust me, there's no way for the truck to leave the enclosure. Maybe he'll have to use some real magic to make it go away. Let's see him try. Time for the magic. First, a group of spectators is invited to surround the cage and make sure there's no funny business. But this guy's not exactly a bundle of laughs. Since they were chosen at random, you can bet nothing will get past them. They'll witness the magic up close and personal, just like the audience members at a live stage show. Places, please. Curtain coming down in a few seconds. The spectators take one last look at the massive machine. A little wave and the curtain falls. See you later. They join hands and form a human chain around the cage. This is teamwork. They're making it tough for the magician to work his magic. Now there's really no way out. Or is there? A little more conjuring on the part of the magician and the entire box begins to rise. I guess the only way out is up. Wow, I have to admit it, it's impressive so far. What's going on behind that sheet? If you want the answers, just imagine how they feel. So close, and yet so far. Some more magic and the cage rises right off the ground. Remember, the truck weighs 65,000 pounds and there's no way he could lift it straight up, even with a crane. Besides, nobody said anything about a floating truck. Let's just see what's happening here. There's no sign of the vehicle underneath. But where is it? Again, the floor is solid concrete, so don't look for any trap doors or hidden elevators. Is it really gone? The suspense is killing me. Yet another magical wave and... Voila! That truck is gone goodbye. And just to prove it, the magician reunites with his collection of cuties. As long as they're around, I can't say that I miss the truck. But it's gone without a trace. Nice trick, Magic Man. Now show us where it really went. How did the magician make this 65,000 pound truck levitate high in the air, then vanish in the blink of an eye? He didn't. Here's what really happened. When the trick begins, the magician gives us a tour of the massive truck. Yes, the truck is real, and it is very heavy. But the two lovely assistants aren't the only magical helpers hiding in the shadows. Cleverly concealed in the truck's payload are stagehands. No, they're not taking a rest. They're waiting to go to work. Hey, guys. The magician climbs up onto the truck's cab and waves his hand inside. 
whenever a magician goes out of his way to show you that there's nothing unusual going on, there always is. From this angle, we see the truck's driver is hiding inside. That's one way to avoid a speeding ticket. The magician exits the steel cage, the doors are closed, and the chain is padlocked. It's legit. That door will not be opened again, at least until the stagehands want to come out and go home. Then the magician takes us on a walk around the cage, showing us that it completely encloses the truck. He calls in the witnesses, and they surround the truck to form a human barricade. With a magical wave of his hands, the giant silk curtain is dropped, covering the cage. As soon as they are hidden from view, the driver and stagehands spring into action, climbing out of the truck and moving into position around the perimeter of the cage. Funny, they usually don't work this fast when they're being watched. Outside the cage, the witnesses move in closer and join hands so that nothing can get past them. But something does. If these spectators look bored to you, it's probably because they've done this trick many times before. Although they've been presented to you as randomly chosen witnesses, they're actually part of the illusion. In fact, they're on the payroll and always help the magician perform this big trick. As the magician appears to make the silk rise, inside the cage, the stagehands make their move. Upon closer inspection, you can see that the entire cage is on wheels, and it is actually welded to the back of the truck. The movement of the fabric and the spinning lights disguise the movement of the truck as it begins to roll backwards. But how does the cage move without taking the curtain with it? Closer examination reveals that the silk drape is not connected to the cage as it appeared. It's actually hung from a steel frame supported by beams and lifted by motors and cables. The cables are painted black and hung from the ceiling high above the truck. When the curtain rises, it is actually lifting off and away from the cage, allowing the cage and truck to slip out the back. Behind the truck, the black backdrop slides open. Our phony witnesses move out of the way, and the cage and truck roll out. The deception is still hidden from view by the white silk, which continues to rise. The truck must be backed out carefully so that its movement is not visible from the outside. But what about all that noise the truck makes? The witnesses are doing a good job pretending that it's perfectly quiet. This is why big tricks like this are only seen on TV and never in front of a real live audience. Once the truck is clear of the stage, the witnesses move back into place. The black backdrop is closed, and the magician is ready for his dramatic finale. The magician levitates the silk one last time, supposedly showing us that the truck is suspended in midair. But now we know better. With a mystical wave, the silk is released from the steel frame and it floats to the ground almost magically. The witnesses act dumbfounded and amazed, and the truck has vanished. Pretty good trick. Pretty simple solution. Mm.